and you get the diagnosis and it's cancer. So what do you do next? We are talking now about the treatment. We know we have world-class mm -hmm. cancer treatment centers. They're right here in Houston. We sure do. We're talking about the personal side of cancer, talking to your children, making memories, and gearing up for the fight of your life. One Houston family, the Cruz family, did all of that in the form of a book. Our dad will have to keep on fighting in the war against cancer. He's not sick anymore, but sometimes cancer comes back. About four years ago, Will Cruz thought he had hurt his shoulder swimming, but doctors soon told him he had late-stage non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, a cancer with no cure. It was very tough. Uh, I'd been athletic for most of my life, and all of a sudden my whole life just came to a standstill. But Will had a loving family at his side, giving him the will to live. I gave him lots of love and kisses so that he would know I loved him. Along the way, Dana Susan wrote down kind acts her children were doing to help keep Dad going. She snapped photos and kept their artwork and put it into a book form. I gave it to him as a Father's Day gift, and that's all it was meant to be. But friends and even doctors were soon passing their book around to help others. Everyone encouraged them to publish their masterpiece, and they did it. It means a lot to me, and it pretty much talks about what we did when our dad got cancer. I was in a daze most of the time. I didn't have a whole lot of feeling for what was going on around the family, and so to hear my kids' words about it and to see what they had done for me, it was really a special gift to me. And Dylan hopes other cancer patients will get something out of it. They would learn how to fight. Maybe one day there won't be any more cancer for anybody. Till then, we will help fight. The end. After several years of treatment, Bill is doing well, is in remission, and is planning the third Bill Cruz remission run. His wife, Dana Susan Cruz, is the chief planner of the event. She joins me now to talk about her family's incredible journey. I'm so glad to see you again. It was years since we did I that know. story. I my babies are so small in that picture. <laughs> it probably seems odd to see yes. that. Let's talk about how far he has come, because stage four lymphoma is a very aggressive cancer, right. and, and five years of surviving this disease is unusual. Right, so when, when it was getting close, to time to celebrate five years of remission. I wanted to kind of throw a party, but I thought to represent who our family is, we're, we're athletes and we belong to the running community, triathlon community. I wanted to do something that brought the runners and triathletes and cancer community all together and to, to raise awareness about cancer, but also promote health and fitness in families. So I thought five years, 5K, what could be better? And our first year was greatly successful, so we did it again last year, and now we're doing our third event. And it is coming up. It's almost here. February 5th, Super Bowl weekend, the day before the Super Bowl. Hey, everyone needs to work out before they eat all those Super Bowl <laughs> exactly. So it's the perfect right, timing. Right. <laughs> so how can people get involved and help in this great event? If you go to our website, remissionrun.org, you can find out how to volunteer or register for the race. Um, just come out and cheer our participants on. We have a whole lot of survivors who are going to be running the race. That's one of my favorite parts of our race is that people who actually have cancer are out there running it, participating mm -hmm. in the race. We have people running in honor and memory of people. We print those names on our shirts. We post them along the course. Everything is about raising awareness. And then the icing on the cake is that we get to donate all our proceeds to the Lymphoma Tissue Bank at MD Anderson Cancer Center. And that must mean so much to you because yeah. your husband spent so much time there. And right. now you're going to be helping people who have gone through what he's gone through. Right. It's kind of, MD Anderson is kind of a second home to us. And we love the lymphoma doctors there, and they actually come and run our race. They come, their nurses and their and their staff, their physicians mm -hmm. come out and actually participate in the race, which is a lot of fun. And then we, and then at the end of it, we collect all our donations and take them to the lymphoma department, and they are actually studying tumor progression there, so they can develop better targeted therapies that are less toxic for well, cancer patients. I'm so happy to be a part of the race, too. You've asked me to yes. read some of those names of survivors, and that yes. will mean so much to me. And all the families who are there and can yes. say, you know what, well, we beat it. We are going to continue <laughs> to do that. And certainly exercising a good message to send to everybody to help right. prevent cancer. Right. Let's talk about that book. It was so amazing to look through that. And, and I could see at the time how it could really help a family. How is it done? I mean, are people really giving you feedback? And are you seeing that, that it's successful? Well, yes, I did. Have a, I got a lot of positive feedback. We, um, especially through the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, because mm -hmm. they they got a whole lot of copies and started kind of giving them out to patients and who had ch young children. And yes, they've rec they receive more feedback than I do. The people mm -hmm. write in and say that book really helped me to sit down and talk to my kids and explain what was happening to their dad or their mom. 
And, the, and it gets people talking together as families about these diseases to make it less scary. Well, one thing about cancer, and anyone who's been through this knows the fact that it doesn't affect one person. It's not the right. patient. It's the whole family. Right. So it's such a great thing that you did. Okay, remind everybody again, how do they get involved? Where do they find information? Yes. How do they sign up? Remissionrun.org, and that shows you everything you need to do from registration to coming out to cheer or however you want to get involved. Even if you just want to make a little uh, financial uh, donation, you're allowed to do that too. So remissionrun.org. I will see you there. We'll be there Yay. on February 5th. Looking forward <laughs> to it you. so much. Thanks Thank for coming you. in. It's great to catch up with you again you and get the, get the newest update. Thank you.